This is an introduction to Voyage and this morning I'm going to use the uh, Martins um, which is available for you on the S drive. So if we go into the English section here and then well, while it's just loading up I'll just tell you well here we go Voyage Ayala system and if we move it on so it's got a bit of a problem for loading. There are some questions that you can see, uh, but this is an introduction, so I'll move straight on. Uh, Ayala Voyage Systems uh, originated in 1973 as a result of a, a SOLAS con uh, convention. Um, there were 35 different systems around the world, and in fact, some cases, the same boy could have had two different meanings between two different ports. So, as a result of accidents and collisions at sea, uh, we decided to have a convention and come down to one particular system. There are two parts to it, however. But the Ayala International Association of Lighthouse Authorities Voyage Systems. We're going to split them into uh, three sections. The first being lateral marks, then cardinal marks, and then the miscellaneous buoys. Let me start with the lateral buoys. The lateral boys here, as you can see, this is a green boy. But what we're actually looking at is we're looking at the shape of the boy. And this is conical. Um, the other one is a can shape. Now this one looks more like a can, but it's this flat top. Um, the colour of the boys is either going to be red or it's green. What are those? Well, they are... Here the boys that we can see, the type of boys. Here we've got the can and we've got the cone. The cone and again the can. This is a pillar boy and this is a spar boy. So the boys can be in any of these three shapes. Here either a can or a cone, the pillar or the spar. The pillar and the spar need to have top marks as you can see. So if you were looking um, and they were silhouetted and you can't see the colour, you can still pick up the, the shape of the boy by looking at the top mark. The boys, the can and the cone, uh, the can mark is the, star, is the port hand boy and the cone being the starboard hand. So you can see from this bit of uh, artwork here we have the vessel coming into port. She's staying on the starboard side of the channel. These here are the starboard hand boys. Why? Well, because I've got this indicating the direction of the voyage, so that we're actually going in the direction of the voyage. So alternative, as the vessel comes out and leaves port, then you'll see that this port hand boy now becomes the starboard hand boy because I'm coming out of voyage, because I'm going against the direction of voyage pretty cool artwork isn't it yeah actually there's four million pounds worth here uh, yes you're being surprised it's good stuff okay let's move on so let's have a look at uh, region a so oh let's just it before we go this is where we have um, two channels here we've got the can boy which is a port hand boy and it's saying that the preferred channel is to starboard there is a secondary channel and this one is to port in this particular case. How do I know that? Because I'm going with the direction of voyage. This boy is a can boy. I'm going to leave this on my port side. So this is a preferred channel to starboard. Identifying that there are two. Okay. So this is the uh, um, symbol that you'd find on the charts. Uh, the arrow with two dots next to it. Here's the map of the world. You'd think that it'll all be the same, but it's not. Yeah. Here, region A is the world. Yeah. And this is uh, the vast majority. However, uh, there is an American influence, and the American influence is this section, which is region B. So the Americas, and we've got Japan. Korea and the Philippines, so Korea being South Korea. Um, these areas are the American influence and they're called Region B. 
but it's easier to say the world is region A and region B is that with the American influence. The direction of voyage is that it moves clockwise round the continents. So the voyage is moving in this direction and as we start to move up the Atlantic it's moving in this direction. But it always flows into port. If we're on the American side then it comes down uh, the Atlantic and then back up the Pacific. Okay. Let's see how that applies to us for Region A. Region A is off for the lateral boys, then it's a can-shaped mark and it's a cone-shaped mark. We keep red to port and green to starboard when I'm going with the direction of voyage. Just like the vessel's light, side lights, red on the port side, green on the starboard side. A power-driven vessel has to stay to the starboard side of the channel when she's going with the direction of voyage. Here, the vessel coming out of port is going against the direction of voyage. But she also is staying to the starboard side of the channel. So by day, we can look at the shape of the buoys and the colour of the buoys. By night, surprisingly, these green buoys have a green light. And the red buoys have a red light. So... The rhythm of these lateral buoys can be any rhythm, isophase, long flash, short flash, quick flash. Uh, it can be anything other than composite 2 plus 1. W the mariner, as she goes into port, would keep an idea in his head of the passage plan which would indicate which buoys or which rhythm each of the buoys represent. So let's see so here is the port hand boy as we said here's the can shaped boy here's the pillar shaped boy but with the top mark and this is the spar with the top mark how does she look by night well here's the flashing light red in color any rhythm other than composite two plus one the starboard hand boy green in color with a cone so this is the cone by day. She, if she carries a top mark, it would be a cone. Here, where the pillar or the uh, the pillar or the spar, they need to carry this top mark. Their lights, surprisingly, are green. Anything other than two plus one. Here we've got. It loads. We've got the preferred channel red in color region a port hand boy again so what we're saying is that there is two channels at this particular junction the main channel the preferred channel is to starboard when i'm going with the direction of voyage however there is a secondary channel going to port as the vessel comes through you can see that this is a port hand boy and when i'm going with the direction of voyage i need to leave it on the port hand. By night you can see that here are the green and the red boys and this one here is a composite 2 plus 1. So here we go 1, 2 and 1 and then repeated 1, 2 and 1. Okay this combination is just primarily for this boy. Here we look boy, as you look at it, she's a red can with a green stripe in region A. The light, come on, quick flash, a composite 2 plus 1. As we load up the next section, this will take us through the preferred to port a green cone indicates that the main channel is to port and I'm going to leave this on my starboard hand when I'm going with the direction of voyage for the MCA orals they'll tend to put you going against the direction of voyage why? because they're tricky that's why Okay. so actually what does it look like at night Again, here's the flashing lights, and again, it's a composite 2 plus 1. 
does the boy look like? A green cone with a red stripe. Region A. Pre star starboard hand boy, preferred channel to port. Okay, let's have a look at Region B. Region B being the American influence. We're very fortunate that the Americans agreed with us and kept the same shape. Uh, so can is to port and cone is to starboard. What they have done is they've changed the colours. The beauty in these situations is that if you look at the shape of the buoy, then that will tell you, A, if you're going with the direction of buoys, which hand to leave it on. So, the Americans, if I can give you some sort of reason, is that the Americans seem to think, and rightly so for them, that the river, that the water flows out of a channel as opposed to into a channel. Whereas the rest of the world decide that oh, you're going into port for the first time, it's the first time you're going to see it. And also it same, follows the same convention of red on the port side and green on the starboard. The Americans are just funny. What we can say to you though is if you've got a red boy it's a red light and if you've got a green boy it's a green light. So you as navigators particularly because you're from Fleetwood would understand yeah, that you should know where you are in the world and where the regions are. You should also know whether you're going into port or coming out of port. These lateral boys are only used in sight of land where it can be clearly seen whether you're actually going into port or coming out of port. Here's our port hand. Look at the shape of the boy. It is a port hand boy, although coloured green. And again, it has a green light. The starboard hand boy, red now, but the shape remains the same. Here's the pillar, here's the spar, but look at the top marks. Red light anything other than composite 2 plus 1 because they also carry the preferred channel region uh, B preferred channel to port or preferred channel to starboard here look at the shape of the boy it's a port hand boy I'm going with the direction of voyage that means I need to leave it on my port hand side secondary boy on the other if we move on then we can see that the preferred channel to starboard is the uh, cone boy. Again, it's just the different colour. So here it's a starboard hand boy. I'm going with the direction of voyage. I need to leave it on my starboard side. Okay. So those are the lateral boys. 